Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Tennessee Volunteers. Number four is a very talented player who will be dependent upon heavily to contribute on both ends of the floor. This player can hurt you from both ends of the floor. Whether he's playing weak side defense or putting back a missed shot, his outstanding hustle puts him in the right places at the right time. The Volunteers will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Volunteers know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First of all, don't let them rain freeze from the arc, baby. Second of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. The post flashes up high if he wants it. He wants a three. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work it around the arc. A whistle and a foul. And coach not happy in the sideline. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Up, easy one. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Let's it fly. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Fed the low block. Entry pass in the paint. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He'll regroup the offense. Number three. It draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Got it from the free-throw line. Oh. 
He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The center gets the ball. He fakes the shot. Good fake. He goes with a baby hook. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Leans in. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. Controlling the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He unloads off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Now they work it around the perimeter. Inside. A little frustration right there. For two, and off the mark. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Oh, what a strip, Red. Transition opportunity coming up. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. The power forward takes the feed. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He fires from long range. Great shot. That basketball. Shoots from outside. Way off target. Something inside. The center gets the pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Holmes is feeling great right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. On the outside. He shoots from downtown. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Rejects it. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses it. He makes the second shot. The screener got hammered trying to set that pick. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Great anticipation defensively.
Looking for a good shot. The power forward with the ball. And a slam. That's an 8-0 run. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Gets it to fall. The power forward takes the pass. Number 34 with the fake. With the fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Thanks, Aaron. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look for inside. He looks at the hoop. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. The ball goes out of bounds. Rejects it. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. He shoots from right of the circle. He knocks down another bucket. Oh, this kid's got skills, Brad. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Turns it over. Teams are looking to get something going here. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Tries for two. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. He's open if he wants the shot. He intercepts it. Basic. Steals a pass. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. 
They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. For the bucket. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Looking for a good shot. They're working around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Goes up for two. Tennessee are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Working around the perimeter from way outside. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Kicks off the lazy pass. They work it around the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Trying to draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. From left of the circle, he buries the shot. Jump hook from the low block. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, you feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumped in front to take it away. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. With a deep shot from outside. He hits it. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. From left of the circle, he gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Picks off the pass. Jumps in. Oliveira makes the finger roll. Trying to get 
that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the outside. Up and inside. He launches a three. Oh, yes. Looking for a good shot. Nice move with a face-up, swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dumping inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. The fake. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Fake. Fakes it. He fires it up. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They'll work it around the arc, in the paint, looking for contact. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Shot clock is dead. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From three-point range. They let him get into a rhythm. Double team now, bad angle. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Throws it up, hoping for the best. He couldn't get it to fall. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Time, the Razorbacks are trailing by 10. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first. Dick, do you have a highlight of the half? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Tennessee is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Puts up the tray. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. There he is, strips the ball loose. Looking for the foul, scorches the net. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. The 
Now working around the perimeter. And one too many dribbles and a steal for the deuce. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Picked off. one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes it off him with authority. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Picked out of the air. Pass intercepted. Hey, Brad, you can't follow a guy all the way across the court and expect to get a pass to him. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Able to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From right in the circle, buried it. Intercepted. Break opportunity here. Tries for two. Tennessee is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. the trap from beyond the arc Dickie simply on fire hey call the fire department baby this one's burning up the student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team they want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building stolen away working it around the perimeter 
And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Contact causes the shot to come off. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice fake. And now they'll bring it up. Shoots it. Way off target. He launches the bomb. He gets it to go. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets it to fall. On the outside. For two. And he missed. Sinks it. They work the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He makes the block. On the inside, Durham pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. that opportunity either. The Volunteers are ahead by 13. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The Volunteers are up by 15. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. From the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. And 
And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the shot. He nails the shot. Up and inside. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Dick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. He'll visit the charity strike. He hits his first. Those free throws come. Let's go back on that campus. It's BLOC. Big man on campus, baby. He looks for the bomb. Makes it. Defense did a great job with that block shot. This one's turned it into a big blowout, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And he'll kick it back outside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. at a three. There was no doubt about that one. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game phase was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. There's a double team waiting there. He strokes it. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. We need to see that again, Brad. To him down low, going the other way. He shoots from the top of the circle. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Well, I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. They work it around the perimeter. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Stolen ball. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, man, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. 
control of the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressure on the defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two, he misses it. He intercepts it with a long bomb. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They move it into the front court. He takes it away. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Coming inside. He tries to knock down the three. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals a pass. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call the six man for no reason. In the paint for the bucket. The shot's off target. Working it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Gets the rejection. It's stolen. Now on the run the other way. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong through the contact, baby. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Number five checks in off the pine for his first action. Hey, this guy will tear it up if you let him, Brad. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the ball. Here they are on the break. For two. Up. Easy one. Let's look at it again. I think he's trying to upset him with the taunts, that's for sure. Hey, look at that, Brad. He's getting in his opponent's face. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. In and out. Side. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. The turn to fadeaway jumper. Arkansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. He bombs from outside. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. How can you not love college basketball? The chance, the dedicated followers, the tradition, 
There's no other sport like it, Dick. I love it, Brad. Only in college basketball, baby. Only in college basketball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Cross court. Jumped in front to take it away. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. From the top of the key. Way off target. Great play to take that to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. ready to start again. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Got some room. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. No good. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Looking for a good shot. Focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Tennessee wins a game that was never really close. This is a surprise since the two teams were so evenly matched. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.